This is a follow-up to video one from chapter two, section three from Math 1332. After concluding the video, I realized it was there was a very easy yet important thing that I needed to point out before we move forward to video two. So my apologies for having a break in the uh, first video and the follow-up, but that's just the way it is sometimes. The follow-up involved describing each set in a Venn diagram as the collection of the regions it's made of. For example, you see on the video screen here, the video screen, what is this, the 70s? You see on this screen here, um, a two circle Venn diagram with sets A and B and the four regions as we're going to label standardly from the in the future, regions one, two, three, and four. The universe of course is comprised of all four regions. So we could say the universe is the set containing region one, two, three, and region four. The, uh, however, set A, if you'll notice, is made up of two regions. It's comprised of regions one and two. So if we want to think of A as a collection of elements where each element represents a region, it would be the set containing regions one and two. And set B is made of regions two and three. Thinking of these sets as collections of regions is going to be important for our next uh, order of business. And we also have to be able to do the, th the same thing with three, three set Venn diagrams. So here's our three set Venn diagram with three generic sets A, B, and C, and the eight regions labeled from left to right, top to bottom, one, two, and three. Let's, uh, let's do this, there we go. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, and then region eight. And just like before, we're going to describe all of these regions, excuse me, all of these sets as the union of regions. The universe is made up of all the regions. So region one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops. Where am I? Four, five, six, seven, and region eight. I want you to pause the video for a second and see if you can quickly identify, <coughs> excuse me, the regions that make up sets A, B, and C. In other words, which Roman numerals are in which circles? Hopefully, hopefully you paused the video and gave it a try, but here we go. Uh, set A is made up in order of regions one, two, four, and five, which is pretty easy to see. If you just, uh, let's do this color. If you were to shade in circle A, not the best shading in job I've ever done, but if you were to shade in circle A, then it's made up of, of regions one, two, four, and five. As for, second folks, let me turn my phone down. All right, as for region, as, as for set B, from least to greatest, it is made up of regions two, three, five, and six. And again, that can be seen pretty easily by simply shading in circle B and making note of the regions that are shaded. And then for set C, from least to greatest, it is made up of regions four, five, six, and seven which once again can be seen easily by simply shading in circle C, worst shading in job in the history of shading in. And <laughs> wow, if, if this were a kindergarten class, I would have just failed coloring or massively going outside of the. Then again, it might be easier if I use my stylus instead of my mouse to shade this in. But circ, uh, set C is clearly made up of regions four, five, six, and seven. So as we move forward into video two for this series, keep in mind that not only are we labeling each region with a Roman numeral, but we need to think of each set as a collection of regions.